Jamie Clark. Yes? I'm sorry for the delay. Too many precautions to take care of. If this is another threat from the Alpine Club of Canada. I'm not from the Alpine Club, Mr. Clark. Anyway, I was starting to think you weren't going to show up. And, 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 and Mr. I could give you a false name, but I won't. Call me X, Mr. X. I was a mountain guide, Mr. Clark. ACMG, UIAA, FLQ, you name it. I worked my way up to the lead guide at the Banff National Park Mountain Rescue Team. 25-year member of the Alpine Club of Canada, reported directly to the president. He's also one of those climbers doing stunt work on every major Hollywood film shot in Canada. Unforgiven, Resident Evil, Inception, the whole nine yards. A few years ago, as I'm getting ready for a summer of guiding for the club, I get a call from our president, Lawrence White. He says, I want you to come meet me at the White House. Ah, the timing's odd. Everyone's acting cagey. But Lawrence, he cuts right to it. He says, I want you off as the lead guy to the General Mountaineering Camp. I'm to go work on a film as Jake Gyllenhaal's climbing stunt double. He says it's an issue of national security. Let me ask you something. Do I look remotely like Jake Gyllenhaal? No, man, you don't. So for the next two months, I'm on set in the middle of nowhere, riding horses with a bunch of cowboys. Why me? I don't know. That was a rhetorical question. Of course, yeah. So I poke around when I got back. I'm still poking around. But I just, I can't piece it together. The guides tight-lipped, and there were animal encounters, yet nothing noted in the journals. And then it hits me. Project Bigfoot had been reactivated. In 1906, at one of the very first GMCs, a Sasquatch was discovered. Now, once the initial euphoria washed over the discovery, they realized there must be more than one. And they were right. For in the Kootenays, there was a whole colony of them. In the fall of 1914, the world at war, the ACC realized that these creatures could be weaponized. For the next two years, they tried to train them as foot soldiers for the army. But when poked, prodded, ordered around one too many times, the Sasquatch snapped, taking weapons and military secrets with them. This went way beyond standard operating procedure. I mean, if the ACC is capable of executing a cover-up as colossal as this, then they are far more powerful and dangerous than I'd ever thought. I gotta see. The ACC shut the program down and went dark for the next eight years. It wasn't until the Brits got it in their heads that they should be the ones to conquer Everest, that the ACC dusted off the program and began training the Squatch as high altitude porters. Andrew Irving was brought to Canada to lead the research and training and later joined George Mallory's expedition. The Squatch were shipped to England, Darjeeling, and then Tibet. <laughs> These creatures could climb. Rock, snow, ice, you name it. And then, disaster. An unusual windstorm pinned a dozen squatch on the call for a week. They ate everything. Irving was already worried about the famed squatch appetite, so he'd modified some bear-proof containers he found in Canada. But, well, when these creatures got hungry enough, <laughs> They tore them apart like a fat kid on a box of Smarties. Once again, whoosh, disappeared. Now somewhere roaming the Himalayas, I suppose. For the second time, the ACC shut the program down and wiped the books. What about that famous footage, that stuff from California? Patterson film, Bluff Creek, 67. A diversion. Fearing a whistleblower. ACC took drastic action to trivialize the Squatch's existence. 
through carefully placed footprints, claimed sightings, and debatable evidence like your Patterson film there. The ACC brilliantly turned the Squatch's existence from one of scientific wonder to a sideshow featured in the weekly world news. The ACC even began to profit from their breeding program as the emergence of Squatch tourism created a demand for these creatures worldwide. There was never much interest in tourism in the Ozarks, Mr. Clark. You drop a 500 pound Sasquatch in those forests, well, your summer cottages are booked to capacity for generations. I need you to find out what's going on. Me? Yes, you. I fear I've been compromised. That's why I need you to find out what the ACC is up to. How, man? Not how, Mr. Clark. Why? That's the real question. Why? The how is just window dressing for the masses to be distracted. Why are the Sasquatch being used after all these years? Who benefits? Who has the money and the power to cover it up? What is the Alpine Club of Canada up to? Why? I hope you catch a break. Good luck.